Thank you very much, Press Corp. Good luck. President Obama is down to his last few hours in office, and the furor over his replacement has drowned out one of the most basic facets of his legacy, breaking the color barrier in the Oval Office. As president, Obama rarely put his race front and center, but the last eight years did yield some images whose power is undeniable. Vice News spoke with the boy at the center of one of them. My name is Jacob Philadelphia. I was five years old when I met the president, and now I'm 12 years old. My father was leaving the White House, and because of tradition, whoever leaves the White House gets a photo with the president and their family. I mean, he seemed just like maybe a friend of my dad. He didn't seem super important because I didn't know the significance of being the president. He just seemed like a very powerful person and a tall person. The reason why I wanted to touch his hair was because I usually got uh, the same haircut at a barber shop that I usually went to with my mom. And our hair seemed similar at the time. I asked him that question and that he bent over and said, go ahead and touch it, dude. And I touched his hair. I was actually really surprised and hesitant because he was basically just a stranger to me. But our hair did feel very similar. Why people think so strongly of a photo? Well, maybe it's because I was a very innocent child and the president was very powerful. And I guess the most powerful man in the world, having his hair touched by an innocent child, kind of resonates in people. I do wish he could remain, but our Constitution is important, and two terms in office is sufficient. 